or what should we expect, Janice? I'm concerned that folks that don't typically see that wintertime weather, northern Florida, parts of Georgia, coastal Georgia, South Carolina, are going to get historic snowfall totals. So Savannah could get six inches of snow. So could Charleston, and that would be historic for them. They have never experienced that much snow. So listen to your local officials. I can't stress that enough. There is a good chance that this storm is going to outperform the snowfall totals, all right, because we're dealing with a very strong system that hasn't even got its act together. So you can see the snow that's moving across North Florida into Georgia, coastal Georgia and South Carolina. Folks need to be inside. The problem is we're going to see power outages and the temperatures are below freezing. So that's going to be the other concern. Going through time, we're going to see this storm start to bomb out, meaning that the central pressure is going to drop t at least 24 millibars in 24 hours. In some cases, that that could double uh, that, and that is going to be an enormous, expansive storm, very powerful. So all along the coast, I need you to pay close attention to your local forecasters. They are working really hard for you. Uh, there is a chance we're going to see school closures. There is a chance people aren't going to be able to get home tomorrow evening because there is the potential if this storm jogs 50 miles to the west, we're going to be dealing with anywhere from you know what was one to three inches to a foot or more of snow. So listen to your local forecast. Listen to your local officials. Here are your winter storm warnings. Again, for areas that don't typically see this type of weather, up towards the Delmarva, in towards New England, where we will have a blizzard tomorrow afternoon for parts of Boston, northward Cape Cod, the islands, and it looks like Hatteras is now under a blizzard warning as well. The problem, again, is that once this storm is over, if we have power outages, we're going to be dealing with temperatures below zero in a lot of these areas for an extended length of time. Uh, so, again, uh, the storm forecast totals could you know, be conservative on the conservative side if this storm jogs a little bit more to the mm -hmm. west. That's why we need everyone to be listening to your local officials. This one is one of the hardest snow forecasts that we have done across the East Coast. Mm. And the fact that we are seeing epic snow totals already for parts of Georgia and the Carolinas should give you a good indication of how strong the storm could be and how it could potentially get people off guard. So we need so to prepare for the worst. Prepare for the worst. Be prepared for anything. And can you tell me a little bit about those Midwestern states, uh, uh, Chicago right behind you, what to expect uh, there timing-wise, so Janice? Chicago is okay. This is mostly a coastal storm because it's a nor'easter. But the problem is the temperatures. The temperatures have been cold for almost a week now. Uh, people are dealing with, you know, below zero temperatures for an extended length mm. of time. So that's the problem. You can't be outside. It's dangerous cold. That's why, unfortunately, we've got loss of life because of the cold temperatures. If we have power outages, which we will, Sandra, that could be a potentially deadly situation as well if people don't have anywhere to get warm. All right. Take this one seriously, says Janice Dean. Thank you very much. Okay.